Construction at the new Oshai Children's Hospital is almost done. Women and Children's Hospital will move to the new location in Buffalo's medical corridor in just five months. News 4's Angela Christophoros joins us there live to show us the progress. Angela. Well, Christy, this project has been a long time coming. Construction began back in 2014, and take a look behind me. That's the hospital right there. The outside of the building is finished, and now the inside is more than 90% complete. A few hours ago, we got an inside look to see how the hospital is shaping up so far. After several months of construction, the inside of the $270 million John R. O'Shai Children's Hospital is nearly complete. A lot of effort goes into design, and the design of the building is meant to, to convey um, a sense that you'll be taken care of here, you can heal here. All operating rooms, the mother-baby unit, pediatric intensive care unit, and the hematology oncology unit are finished. If you have a child in here, uh, like our NICU, for example, average stay is three weeks. And if you're going to be there with your child for three weeks, there are things you're going to need. So there's laundry facilities, there's several different places to go have a cup of coffee. The next few months, crews will work on the finishing touches and move in equipment. In July, a helipad on top of the building is expected to be completed and certified. We have CAT scan machines, X-ray machines to put in place. And starting around mid-August, Kaleida has millions of dollars worth of furniture and smaller equipment that we'll move in, and that's after Turner is done. With 12 floors and 185 beds, the hospital will be the first of its kind in New York State. The hospital's location will also give patients an advantage. If there's ever an issue with mom delivering, uh, where it's a, it's a short run down a hallway and she's in Buffalo General for adult surgery, and then it's right around the corner is our Gates Vascular. Although they're getting close, the work isn't over just yet. We have to move everything in so that it's perfect, right down to a glove box, and then we spend several weeks training. Before you know it, this new site will be open. The Oshai Children's Hospital is on track to open this November, and that's only about five months from now. Now, coming up on News 4 at 5.30, we will have a live interview with a Kaleida Health spokesperson who will tell us more about features inside of the hospital and a helipad that will be on top of the building. But for now, reporting live in Buffalo, Angela Christoforos, News 4 at 4.30.